So this exercise is just a simple application of Ampere's law uh, from Maxwell's equations. So uh, in the problem statement, we're given an infinitely long straight wire um, situated along the z-axis that carries a current I uh, in the positive z direction. So if we were to get a quick picture, let's pull this up here. And so that would be um, represented here. That's our long infinite wire with a current along the z-axis in an infinite direction. And so we're looking to integrate between two points, and they want us to do it for two different paths to see if we could uh, determine what the integral of the magnetic field intensity is uh, along a path here. So... The first one is, uh, first we want to notice the two points that we're talking about are x equal 1, y0, z0. So that would be represented here by A. And then we have 0, 1, 0, which is just y equal 1. So that's this point here. So we're going to go between those two points. And so the first part, which is part A, and so um, I will indicate that here, part A. So in part A, we define, we're just going to define this D point here, and it's along this contour, this circle. So you see we define this circular path going around that. And so if we think about this, um, you know, if we look at this uh, from the top here, uh, again, where this is y, let me rewrite that. So this is y, and this is x. All right, so if we go all the way around this circle, we should come up with i. It should sum up to the current going through that surface. So then by symmetry, if we divide this like this, it's in fourths. Um, we should have then that the integral around the closed contour along that inter line integral should equal to all the current going through the surface bounded by that, which we know is I. So now by symmetry, if we were just to go from A to B to D, we see that that is just, this part here is just a fourth, one fourth of that. So then the magnetic field intensity, because it's going to be symmetrical, there's no, no impedances or anything that would cause it to, to vary at all. So then that's going to be I over 4. So that's part A. So the integral along that contour there is I over 4. So now we have another part, this part B, uh, which we'll put here. And now they're wanting us to consider uh, the straight path. Instead of going around the circle, what if we just enter, do an integral along that line to going directly from A to B? Okay, well, let's think about this then. So we can take the integral take the integral from a d b again a d b which is what we did uh, up top here of the magnetic field intensity and then we can add that to the integral of just the line from a to b h dot dl so if we do that that's going to be this contour here is marked with the purple. So it's this, the round part of the contour, and the straight part of the contour. And you can see that that forms a closed contour. And when we look at that closed contour, the current is going on the z-axis. So no current's going through that loop right there. So that being the case, there is no current, so that has to equal to zero. 
Well, then that would imply then that the integral of a db h dot dl minus the integral from a to b h oops h dot dl should equal to zero. Taking it one step further, what that's going to tell us then is the integral along the straight path a b h dot dl has got to be equal to the integral of a d b h dot dl which we solve for up here it's going to be i over four so you might have thought this intuitively anyway because it's still kind of a fourth of the of the uh, circuit there but uh, we've proven it here empirically at least mathematically that it is also equal to i over four